it's time for the after show. Hey. My energy's a little low, but let me just tell you, this was such an awesome conversa conversation. Yes. Even though it's been a long day, Dom, I'm just yes. like, I'm so grateful that we get to do this work because Opal yes. is, I really hope that our listeners go out and freaking blow her social media up and I show her some so love too. because she is the real deal. She is on point. I, you know, I think sometimes we underestimate the the power and the wisdom that people under 30 have and oh oh she is just so full of wisdom and so, such wisdom. a beautiful spirit yeah and yeah, I had so many more questions. I know. And she's a fantastic storyteller. And right? so I was like, oh, I got more questions. But I yeah. know that we would end up sitting here for hours. Oh, for because sure. Because the conversation was just flowing, right? Yeah. And so I, and that's also why I was like, okay, no, we need to bring her back to fully yeah. devote that time to so it's not rushed right yeah. yeah i think that's the hard part about what we do yes is that when you're interviewing someone and they just have this story and the mm -hmm. conversation and the energy just flows yes it's tough. sometimes it is so hard to mm -hmm. stop and i know like for me some something that i'm conscious of when we're recording i don't know about yeah. you but yeah. something that i'm conscious of when we're recording is well i don't want us to have a 90 minute interview yeah like I, and I think that's the hard yeah. balance right yeah i'm torn i'm with you i'm with you well one logistically i'm like I'm going to have to put the baby to bed soon. I know you mm -hmm. have to get up and you probably have work and clients. Like I know that life demands other things, but I know there are times I listen to interviews a lot and there are times where like there was an interview that came out recently. I'm not going to say whose interview it was, but there was an interview that came out recently and it was two hours and I didn't Whoa. finish it in one sitting, but I listened to half of it. And then the next night or whenever I had the chance, I, I listened to the rest. So my thing is, if the content's good, people will come back to listen. But logistically, mm. that may be kind of hard for us. But as you said that, I was yeah. thinking like, maybe this and here I go being extra. But maybe one day we could do like a a podcast of non where we just like we have juicy conversations and we just we just talk for just hours. Bring people we, in and just like okay, you hop yeah. in. All right, tag, come on in, next person. Like, like yes, a club, you know how they did with Clubhouse in the beginning where people were just up until like three. In the, I mean, we wouldn't do three in the morning, but like just right. talking and having good conversation for hours. Um, I will say, I think this is one of our longer interviews that we've done in a long yeah. time, which I think is fantastic. Also, girl, I don't know about you, but when Opal was sharing her story, yes, all of these questions came up, but I was like, wow, I don't think we've ever had a guest tell their story in that way where it was just so yeah. captivating. And it probably went on for more than 10 minutes and it was like, oh, yeah, it was okay. It, it wasn't like, it was like, oh, I wish this was over. It was like, oh, this is good. Like you could keep on going. Right. And it I all... was like, there's still stuff that you could still share that you didn't, just... that you didn't even get to. Exactly. And like her story arc, she just, she just, she just walked that beautiful. story and it flowed. And I was like, oh, this is great. Like you can keep on going. I wanted to interrupt and ask little questions throughout, but I was like, oh, she's vibing. This is, this is actually really good. She's a great storyteller. So I just appreciated her. And I think that, um, she shed light on a lot. One of the things that stood out to me, Dom, I'd love to know what stood out to you as well was that, and we know this, right? It's common sense, but everyone's experience isn't the same. And so yeah. even when she's, she really re-emphasized that, it sounds like she had a very good experience with her parents growing up, even though they were a white couple and she's a, you know, a young black woman, it sounds like she had a good experience overall. The fact that they were so supportive of her when she started to right. embrace her blackness. And even though they may not have known, you know, what to do and how to communicate initially it sounds like she had a very good experience and we know that there are some people that don't but no. just really understanding like everyone's experience is so unique right we can't just lump and put everyone into the same sort of category right 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 i i think yes that stood out to me and i think something yeah. else that stood out to me is when she was talking about some of the misconceptions Mm -hmm. And she was sharing that, you know, the narrative, the common narrative that's out in the world is that it's rich white people 
that mm-hmm. are adopting kids. Mm-hmm. And I think because I I know folks who who are transracial adoptees, I know that that's not always the case. And so, but I, I think it's important to dispel some of the misconceptions out there, right? And so I think her pointing that out is what like stood out to me is like, hey, no. And recognizing, putting that in full context, right? That she's growing up in the Bay Area. So it could easily be the narrative that her parents are rich white people, right? But her pointing out that that was not the case for her. Yep, I'm with you, girl. It, this was a definitely eye-opening, and I'm looking forward to learning more about her story. Like, I want to know about the rest, right? As she was yes. talking, I'm like, what about your brothers, right? I thought that right. was interesting, too, how mm-hmm. she was the only one out of the five that was not placed in right. foster care. And I'm just like, oh. oh so but yeah, around that. But yes. so many things, right? So we'll dive into this next time. Hopefully you enjoy this conversation, lady, and we'll see you next time. Yep.